Force that force that But he could have just okay. signed. He could have just stayed in New York. No, he no he no, Or excuse he, me, stayed in Denver. Stay he could have stayed in Denver and then just signed when, you know, like just cause the issue was that they had to trade so much for him. Right. And like right. he had like I think a year and a half left. He could have just played out the year and a half. And they just signed with played the Yeah, played out the year and they just signed with him in the summertime. And they I think they would have had a better team. They yeah, would have had a better much team. better team. Yeah, and like so you, yeah. Went, come on, man. Yeah, you still had the Nilo and Wilson Chandler. Don't, Chan don't, don't cry guys. about cry to me, you want a spot, you can do anything. I mean, he had a chance to do whatever happened in Houston or whatever happened in OKC. I mean, they needed OKC is crying for some buckets. I mean, especially on the second team, and then when he said, "Hey," in the in the press conference, hey, AP, they, they said I'm gonna have to come off the bench. <laughs> yeah, nigga, if you want to play on this team and be productive, you are gonna have to come off the bench. I mean, but at that point in time, like I didn't think that Melo needed to come off the like you like you coming off of twenty two like twenty two points a game, bro. It's, it's not like he was washed at that point in time when he came. He wasn't, to the he wasn't washed, but. Westbrook is doing his thing. Paul George is doing his thing. You're number three. The best, that. the best thing for the team is for you to come off the bench. Yeah. Give us, give us those buckets off the bench. In that scenario, that's the best. That would have been the best for the team. And he's laughing. He's laughing and joking about it in the, in the uh, <laughs> AOP, media they day press conference. The come on, get out of here. Come on, man. So you feel no sympathy for Melo? Not zero. Okay, zero. so okay, zero. so zero. Zero. Okay, so for you, what is Melo's legacy as a basketball player. Uh, well, same gonna, as Chris Paul's go legacy. Hall of Fame. Of course, he's gonna, go, he's gonna be going to Hall of first Fame. First ballot. But same legacy as Chris Paul. Right about there. I mean, he's go, he's Allen Iverson two point He's the same. Would you? And he wasn't. No, he's he not wasn't, AI two point He wasn't AI's the game. Way, he wasn't. He no. wasn't the game changer. He's not AI two point oh. AI is revered same, by everyone. In this, uh, everyone African American loves Allen Iverson. Man, if you don't like AI, you're African white. African American love. <laughs> literally, if literally, the only people who don't like AI are white. In the in in the reference to basketball, in reference to on the court, on his, the court and in life, in reference to on the court, his his ending is very similar to Allen Iverson. The ending that we're seeing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's how so that's how I'm lumping Fair. the two together Fair. as great players. I mean, they were doing Allen Iverson better. I'm not I'm not going to argue that, but the great players in the in the game, they just mm-hmm. ended. Not how it kind of you would think or you would hope the end, the career would end. That's yeah. how I'm comparing it. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, yeah, even Scotty. And even Scotty, Scotty, Scotty didn't go outside. Scotty won three. He won three. He didn't go outside. Three times in a row. Huh? Scotty didn't go outside. He won three points. He went, three point he three went kind of sad. He went nah, kind of sad. Ah, uh, bro, I feel like Scotty got beat by the Lakers. I mean, the, the, that team got beat. That was it. Not nah, like I mean, Scotty, they, and that was up in the air until the last. Three minutes of that basketball. Yeah, until, like, yeah, until, 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 until Kobe shook that man off the screen. Until the last time of that series. Uh, uh, until, that was the until, last. Un, until Kobe shook that man that clean the off the Scottie screen. One, like, once again, Kobe made that man leave the screen, that was the end of Scotty. Again, that was that was three minutes ago, game seven of the Western Conference Finals. But he played four more years after that, though. Like, I, and I mean, and, I mean, and he came back to the Bulls for it, for his last year. I feel like yeah. Scotty went out. The way Scotty wanted to go out, Melo. I don't know if Melo gonna get signed. You like, he I don't think gonna, that phone he, ringing he, for Melo, bro. Which hurts me. He like, I, I like because so. Melo got to pick well, up the bat see, phone and call you, LeBron. If, no, because if they I, wanted him, they'd have signed him last year. If they want, if they really wanted him to be on the team, they would have signed him this year in the soft season. What, what's your? I ask you the same question. I mean, how does how does Melo Melo's legacy look to you? I mean, I think he's one of the best scorers of all time when it comes to just getting buckets. Like, I feel like. Top ten, top five when it comes to just flat out getting buckets. Um, I think that he is has that a category just getting buckets, huh? Is that a category? Yeah, uh, he, bucket he getters, just scorers, just top ten scorers, top, top 10, ten scorers. He got to be in there. Okay. Um, top ten scorers. Okay. Um, so I think that that, and also I think that he wasn't privileged to play on uh, some of the most talented teams. I think he that, that to himself, kind of, sort of. I think that wait, 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 real quick. I think that when even if you look at his New York situation, right? Omari was an MVP candidate. I think the year before, I would have been hot if I was Omari. But but sick. but I would have been pissed. But Omari came back and was trying to get down. He was actually getting down. I'm not not those those Knickerbocker were the uh, championship contenders. Don't get me wrong. But he, but he was MVP was, candidate. He had re, he but responded. Then he started acting up though. 
He was balling yes. when they signed Carmelo. Yes, but and then but, all of a sudden, but 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 <laughs> but but start sinking. But if we remember, Phoenix let him go because they said he only had one to two yeah, more yeah, years yeah, left yeah, in those knees, yeah, yeah. and his knees. To be fair, his knees died. Yeah. His knees decapitated after that. He was, he he was getting down though. He was getting down. The before first year, his oh, knees oh. decapitated. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first year, hooping. After that. Down the drain in Denver, right? I think that when you gave Melo good teams, he gave you results. Even the team that I think won fifty like fifty four games, but the issue with that team is it was all old. You signed Tyson, Tyson over thirty. Jason Kidd on his last leg. Uh, Iman Torres ACL. If um if um you remember, uh, Jr. was pretty much the only guy he could lean on um, all the way throughout. On the Nuggets, uh, Nuggets you talking about, right? On Denver? No, I'm talking about um New York. And even on Denver, like when you gave Melo well, they, these they, they teams, changed gave, that they threw this squad away. That that squad, I feel you. That, that squad was really damn because New York was all right. New York was all they was all right. They was going in a good uh, trajectory before they made the trade for Melo. I feel you, but even still, if 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 um, Amari doesn't go downhill, we might be having a different conversation. And if you remember in the playoffs, remember when Amari punched the glass and couldn't play for two games? Yeah. yeah. So, like, I feel like, yes, Melo did do certain things to himself. But also, I don't think Melo was granted the same good fortune as other people. But that's he also... Cre- he kind of created that scenario. But, fair. Like, he could have went to Chicago. He had a chance to go. He could have went to Chicago. How, how, how silly did it sound just listening to the interview when they were talking... Stephen A. asked him about, you should have been that third guy in Miami and not Chris Bosh. And he says, well, it was all conversation. Like... The plan, well, yes. That's, that, that sounds silly. Like, that, that's all like... Somebody who's not truly engaged in the conversation. No. But I mean, how can, how can these guys be talking, literally talking about and and conceiving a, a scheme to team up in Florida? And <laughs> he's just in a room? Or I mean, he's just on the back I mean, of a banana boat? I, I, mean, mean, look, I mean, that's the that's, way it's always been, that's though. Not, but that's not like somebody who's not, asked, you're not compre- okay. comprehending the, 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 compre- he the might conversation. Not even. Okay, look. Okay, he said look. he didn't understand what was going on. He really might not have understood the business of basketball. Okay, look. This is the thing, right? This your guy, t- with, this your guy this, telling you this. This is the this is the thing with Melo. Like I asked this question yesterday. I said, "Was Melo ever the second best player in his class?" The second best player. His yeah, rookie year, possibly. Class. His rookie year, he might have been the best. He was well. He, they, he year, was the he first team. The the, he was the first guy of that class to lead this team to the playoffs. Yeah, his rookie year. Yeah, but I'm asking. So you saying that was his? That was <laughs> yes. so. His rookie year. Was he the second best player of his class? Yeah. What year was he ever the second best player in his class? He was. He got drafted with Dwayne Wade, LeBron yeah, James, yeah, Chris yeah. Bosh, though, all those guys. Yeah, what year was he yeah. ever the best, or the second best, or the best player? He, he was the best player for one year, but what the year beyond best, that was he the second uh, best? Oh nine when they went to the um, conference finals. Okay. I mean, but even so, you say that, but like D, what D Wade did have started that year, and D Wade also had a ring by then. Yeah, yes, but I'm not even counting that. I'm saying like some of the, the thing about D Wade is some of his best years came when the Heat were terrible. Like if he has those years and well, like they were good, the ring, yeah. he might win an MVP, and we might remember D Wade a little. But people might remember D Wade a little bit differently because he might have an MVP. So I mean, I would maybe say that year, the first year, and the year when he, the year when somebody messed up LeBron's um, unanimous MVP because they because uh, one dude uh, nobody messed it up. up. N- nobody messed it up. He didn't deserve it. That he year. did deserve no, he it. Did. Yeah, no, he did. But he didn't deserve to be unanimous. Okay, shut up. He was good. He, he okay. was great that year. Well, anyway, he that year. To be so, MVP. so I would probably say the he first, went seventy three games. So I would. So I would probably say the first year, and then the year when he led the league of scoring. Okay, I'm not upset at that. But like, what? But in terms of even that, where was he in those years in terms of top players in the NBA? Top five. Okay. Yeah, five, yeah five so it's like seven, so I mean yeah so how do how I mean how will we remember Melo cuz I don't cuz I think it's over. I think that was like a last ditch effort but I don't think that that's going to work out for him the way he If it wasn't for it, if it out. wasn't for his um USA champions his gold medals. Don't what you about to say? Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. If it wasn't don't do for this. his gold medals. But you but, but I was disrespectful about what? Scotty. His gold medals what? He wouldn't what? Uh, Melo it be Tough for him to get make the Hall of Fame. He's a fucking ten time All Star. Mellow better than Scotty to me. Mello player better. to player, Mellow better than Scotty. Exactly. Oh, no. Player I to player, not. Paul no. George and Mellow no. better than Scotty. No. no. Player to Mello. player. Mello Mike, you tell me Mike wanted to play with Mellow? 
Scotty no, played go play defense. Scotty played defense. Young Melo played defense. Go back and watch him. Young Melo played defense. What you mean? No, no, no. Young Melo played defense. Young Melo played defense. No, Young Melo in the NBA against the top players used to play defense. He did. He did. Night to night, he won the great defender. But when he played the big guys like Kobe and Braun all over, he would show up. He would. He would show up. He won He won a night to night defender. That's not enough for me to consider his defense. No, that's not true, though, because when he played Kobe, when he. I mean, he was defending. Kobe. Yeah, he Kobe. used to defend LeBron. He would always take the other players. You best defender that LeBron was a lot. Yeah, he would give LeBron drugs a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah, LeBron he really couldn't guard Melo. He would give him buckets because he was a bucket getter. Right? Nobody could guard Melo. Nobody could guard Melo. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for us. Um, Gold medals. Yeah. If Dumars drafted the medal, what y'all think? I Ooh, think that medal would no. have a ring. Yeah, if, if Dumars and I think that the, the Pistons. That, oh, that would be so sweet. And also, they I need think, scoring. Exactly. They and, need the scoring. And I think that the Pistons so probably would add like two rings. Honestly, they might have. They might have had. They won in what two thousand four. They won in 04. I and think they would have. They, they could. They would have been. They might have three peated. They would have been better longer. I had three peat. They only won one. Here's why I say but that though. They, they needed that. He was at. He was at missing link. If there was ever a missing link. A okay. true defensive squad that needs a score. He would have been, and then he would have been looked at like as KD cats, young cats. Just look at KD right now. Okay, but this is a question that one of the fans posed to me. What do you think about Melo and how he would be looked at if Joe Dumars would have drafted him over? You talking about? Yeah, Darko? that's what we're saying. Yeah, that's what we're saying. If that look would have been a lot different, that he would've been, it would have been much more similar to what KD. I don't know Some about listen, look at KD no, in listen, the last three or four years. Listen, I don't know listen, about that. He's been just a bucket getter. Listen, they needed all they needed was scoring. Listen, they listen. struggled. They scroll. They were winning games 75, 75 to sixty nine. We got to remember eighty five to seventy. Yeah, that all got, they needed was his, uh, his yeah. additional. As a rookie, excuse me, as a rookie coming to the league. Yeah. We're not we're not going to get the twenty five points a game. We're going to get fifteen to twenty. Yeah, that's all they needed. Yeah, was I mean, his fifteen yeah. to twenty. Even did, even at any time, Tayshon Tayshon was great defensively, but offensively, again, the, whole team, the whole team, the whole team, the the oh my, I'm having a brain fart. Rasheed Wallace, he just starts. He was he was slowing down. Yeah. Um, who else was they scoring? Rip Rip Hamilton and Chauncey. Yeah. Rip. I mean, he could come Rip, off screen, but Rip you couldn't got, like dump, rip the ball. He got every like, ounce of ability. Man. He got every ounce of ability out of his body. He could. Rip, yeah, Rip did. And then Chauncey. I mean, he was a scorer in college, yeah. but he was a he was a facilitator. solid point guard. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he was a facilitator. For me, we gotta remember the Pistons went to five straight conference finals. Right. Realistically, I think if they draft Melo, they three P. I honestly do. I but think they went five. From 2000 to 2005, didn't it? No, was it? I think was it was it? like... 2003 to 2006? I think it was like 03 to like the year when LeBron destroyed him. Oh, that was like... 2007? Like, that Pistons team? Yeah. yeah but I, I think it was like 02 to They went like, two straight years, or did it? No, no, no. They went to the finals two straight years. Yeah. I, I think they got the conference finals five straight years. They did get uh, to the conference finals And only picked years. up one ring. And they yeah. made two finals appearances. I even think that they... they like for one, they go back to back. I think they beat the Spurs. But if, if that's, 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 and if they draft Melo, I don't. And like, like, look, they draft Melo, but then like, I think the Heat had that ring. I don't think that that the Heat get that ring. And then in two thousand and six, with yeah, Wayne and Shaq. like I think the Pistons <coughs> realistically could have three peated if they would have drafted Melo. They, that that would have been a game changer. That that would have been that certainly would have been. I, a think game they, changer. I, I don't know if they would have been enough to beat the Mavericks, but I feel you. The Mavericks. Yeah. They. Because the Heat Mavis played the Mavericks. He, well, he was barely enough to beat the Mavericks. The ref was just on the man's side. Huh? The ref was just on the Heat side. Six, yeah, six, but yeah. you said D-Wade was barely enough to beat the Mavericks. I don't, I don't think that Melo's on that. That team would be so much better than...